The meeting has now begun. All right. Hello, everyone, and good morning. Let me just get one or two more things set up here, and we will be good to go with the webinar. All right. All right. Well, thank you everyone so much for taking some time out of your day to join me today to learn a little bit more about one of GrandStream's latest devices we just released. My name is Brian Van Meter. I'm a marketing manager here at GrandStream Networks. Really appreciate you joining. A few points of order before we get started. If you're joining us through IP Video Talk right now, uh, we do have the chat feature available. So. Uh, please feel free to just have any conversations, discuss any aspects of the uh, webinar today through there. If you have any questions, please go ahead and use the Q&A feature that's available at the bottom of the screen. Uh, if you're with us on Facebook today and watching, uh, please go ahead and utilize the Facebook uh, commenting feature if you have any questions whatsoever, and I'll get back to you there. But with no further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. All right. So once again, thank you everyone for joining today. Uh, like I said, today we're covering our new SIP intercom and paging devices. Uh, so some devices that really help round out our portfolio here at GrandStream Networks. It's our GSC 3510 and GSC 3505. I have a quick presentation for you guys. We're going to take a dive into the overview of the device the functions and features of it, some of the deployment scenarios, and afterwards I'll go ahead and answer any questions you may have. All right. So let's jump into it a little bit. The GSC 3500 series, uh, this is an ideal device for offices, schools, hospitals, apartments, and more. The main goal of this device is to build a powerful intercom solution, really helps expand the security and facility-wide communication capabilities of the deployment that you're putting these devices in. They are wall mountable or ceiling mountable as well. So just take a quick look into it with a feature overview from device to device. Starting with the GSC 3510 feature overview. This device comes with a wireless SIP speaker and microphone, uh, 8W high fidelity speaker. This device compared to its counterpart is the one that has the microphones built into it. So this is the intercom device. It has three directional microphones with multi-channel uh, microphone array design, beam forming in up to 4.2 meter voice pickup distance. Integrated dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is built into the device just to be able to use it in those Bo Wi-Fi scenarios, and of course a network port with integrated PoE. 200 full band audio, including full Opus band support, just to make sure that you always get the highest quality conversations possible through this device, especially being something that is ceiling or wall mounted. We always want to make sure that the audio that is coming through it is crystal clear. It also has an advanced acoustic echo cancellation for full duplex two-way audio. Like I said, the audio that comes through this device, crystal clear. Want to make sure that everyone throughout a large room that this is deployed in can hear the audio announcements, anything else, very easily. All right, the other device here in the, uh, in the portfolio is the GSC 3505. Uh, this one is the one-way paging device. It does not come with the built-in microphones. So this has a wireless SIP speaker, same type of AW high fidelity speaker with integrated dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as well. This device can also be used as a SIP speaker. Uh, so you can actually connect it to any type of conferencing device and being able to use it through Bluetooth. 
Uh, full band audio, like I said, including opus and wideband support and advanced acoustic echo cancellation built into the device as well. These two devices are very similar to each other, the primary differentiator being the, the 3510 has microphones built into it and the 3505 here does not. All right, real quick technical specifications to take a look at here. Uh, we have 8.5 inch uh, design with a 2.5 inch depth. A reset pin and PoE port are available. On the GSC 3510, there is actually a multi-purpose two-pin port. This has a lot of deployment scenario uh, situations with it, which I'll go ahead and cover in a little bit. Uh, and the top side you see is the speaker, uh, so that's actually the side that would be facing towards the room and towards the users. All right, so let's break down some of these features in a little bit more detail. So starting with the key part of these devices, which is the speaker and microphone. Like I said, it has a full duplex speakerphone with HD acoustic chamber and advanced acoustic echo cancellation. Primary goal of this is to be able to deliver crystal clear audio to a room filled with people. We want to make sure that when announcements are being made over this device, individuals are being paged. It's very easy to hear it. High fidelity HD speaker. Three directional microphones with beam forming capabilities. Like I said, that's with the GSC 3510 only. We really want to divide, uh, design this device that no matter where you are standing in relation to it, as long as you are speaking in its general direction, it has the capability to pick up the sound that's coming in. Uh, up to a 4.2 meter voice pickup distance with the GSC 3510. This is really to maintain that crystal clear audio. It can pick up voice past that, however, it will not be as clear um, as possible if it was within the recommended pickup distance. All right. Uh, it does have multicast paging support with the GSC 3510. Multiple SIP users can listen to paging calls and one subscribe to the same multicast IP address. Uh, we have one-way audio. It will be established from the sender, so the GSC 3510s, to our receiver. And then, of course, multicast paging with these devices must be located within the same local access network, area network, excuse me. So same broadcasting domain. So like I said, this device does have Bluetooth support. It really enables you to be able to integrate it more with various grand string technology. Everything from our desktop phones to our mobile WP820 Wi-Fi phone. Really interesting integration as well actually is with our video conferencing devices. You can actually connect a GSC 3510, for example, and being able to use it both as the speaker for the video conferencing device as well as the microphone. We actually have this set up in one of our larger conference rooms. Pickup and speaker is fantastic on it. Uh, very clear audio. So if you want to have a Taurus type of video conferencing setup without having to have some type of microphones on top of the desk, you want to maintain sort of a crisp clean look of the room, you can actually ceiling mount, mount the GSC 3510 and utilize it as the audio and microphone portion of your solution. All right, moving on. Uh, the two-pin multi-purpose input port. Um, there's a lot of purposes with this from voice prompts, dialing out, call recording, light on and off. Uh, as you can see, the wire seat directly in, uh, integrates with the GSC, uh, connected with then the button connected with it. So start with a voice prompt. Uh, whenever a switch is triggered, you can actually play a sound through the GSC device. And it does support uploading custom ringtones, alarms, uh, other type of automatic notifications that you may want to have uh, happen upon press of the button. You could also, which is probably the most likely use case scenario of this, have it dial out. So you can actually pre-configure on the GSC 3510 a number 
uh, when the switch or button is triggered that then would get automatically dialed out to. This can be used for a variety of use cases uh, from emergency contact all the way to, excuse me, uh, low mobility communication, which I'll touch on in a little bit here once we get to the deployment scenarios. Call recording as well. A call record can start when the switch is triggered. And last but not least, the light can be controlled by the key. Uh, support parallel connection of the incandescent lamp uh, can be hooked up with the two-prong port. Okay, so the system does have dual backup and failover. Uh, devices available at any time. Make sure that if there's any issues with firmware upgrades or anything like that, the device is able to still function and still work. Uh, you can have multiple fault diagnosis methods within the device to troubleshoot system issues effectively with the diagnostic tool, and lastly, with a system recovery built into it as well. The reset key, the hard one, can be used for factory date reset or by forcing the system to upgrade. All right, the device does have some blocking rules so that just not anyone can call into it page to any of the devices at any time, of course, uh, from block rules, which is to be able to block all numbers that are not listed on a whitelist that you set up. You can really make sure that only certain numbers, certain extensions are able to page, make announcements, and call through these devices and answer, which allow all calls received from any number but numbers listed on the blacklist uh, is available as well. These are two configurations that you can set up with the device. Of course, it does support many telephony features here from hold, transfer, forward, call, park, slash pickup call record and auto answer. Everything here is available for you so that you could set up any kind of pre-configuration you would possibly need for any type of deployment. We would really want to make sure that the, uh, that the sky is the limit here when it comes to the amount in which you can customize it. All right, so just to touch on some use cases here, uh, for example, we have a broadcasting diagram set up here where you can see through the control system, you can page through the IP phones or an IP paging mic through your local network that then can connect two PoE switches and then the GSC 3510s or 3505s located throughout the building uh, can then receive the announcement or paging. You can set it up as well with these devices, so you can have various paging groups of devices or page specific devices as well. This is useful for employee announcements, emergency announcements, facility wide announcements, department to department paging to announce meetings, any type of in, uh, situation like that, and of course individual room in office paging, all available through one, one network and one device. All right. Uh, of course, two-way communication here with the GSC 3510 is another important use case to point out here. Uh, calls can be initiated from two pin peripheral ports. So, for example, if you want to have an emergency order, non-emergency button set up that an individual could press in order to get connected with an individual within the same network, you could do this. Uh, the call is initiated from set extensions within the LAN. And this allows for hands-free and rapid communication, which in certain deployments is a necessity. Uh, so let's start getting over to those deployments a little bit. So deployment scenarios here that we're looking at with this devices, everyone, this is hospitals and nursing homes, hotels and hospitality industry, education, office buildings, shopping centers, and of course, smart homes. Okay. So let's take a quick look at hospital and nursing homes and we'll start going through all of these deployment scenarios. Uh, so in this type of scenario, your most likely way of having these devices set up is the GSC 3505 can be deployed throughout a medical facility. This is incredibly useful when it comes to paging staff throughout a location. 
um, doctors, nurses. It's a very high-paced environment, and communication is key. You really can't have people bogged down with desktop phones, maybe even sometimes mobile phones, uh, being able to quickly call them to certain rooms, call for emergency scenarios. This really helps. The GSC 3510 can be deployed in uh, patient and resident rooms. So we're talking with hospitals, patient rooms where hands-free communication may be a necessity. An uh, individual may not have full mobility. They can simply press a button located close to their bed or within the room and then communicate with anyone at a nursing station. Same thing in assisted living and nursing homes. Uh, individuals tend to be a little bit more mobility impaired in this scenario. With the GSC 3510, they simply just need to press an easy to reach button and they can be connected with staff within the complex. All right, and of course, staff paging in this scenario can be done through one location, an admin station, one nurse's station, anything of the sort would be able to page throughout the entire hospital, the entire medical facility, or in a nursing or assisted living situation. All right. So education spaces from universities to smaller elementary schools. The GSC 3505 can be, be deployed throughout hallways, large spaces like meeting rooms or gymnasiums. Really useful for being able to do morning announcements, calling individuals for any type of needs to an office, as well as being able to page specific rooms or specific locations. GSC 3510 would be great to be deployed in specific classrooms, lecture halls, etc. cetera. Uh, this would really enable two-way communication in any type of scenario that's needed uh, between administrative staff and the teacher within the uh, classroom or lecture hall. So in this type of deployment, we're looking at staff, student paging, uh, facility-wide announcements, or classroom-specific paging or announcements. Uh, the WPA20 here could actually also allow for mobile paging. So in certain scenarios, for example, when you may need security to walk around or possibly uh, you have your administrative staff a little bit more mobile, they'd be able to page various devices or page entire networks for announcements through the WPA20, of course, supporting that Opus codec. All right. Uh, then the button peripheral would also allow for larger campuses that need to have sort of those uh, emergency areas to uh, get in contact with security. These are very frequently deployed throughout areas such as parking structures um, or other type of indoor public areas. All right. Uh, so logistics and warehousing is another great deployment scenario that we should definitely look into here. The GSC 3505 and 3510, uh, having that speaker in acoustic chamber, this is typically a more loud environment, um, but the device itself can maintain that crystal clear audio even at max volume. Your 3505 would be deployed throughout open spaces within a warehouse or logistics facility. 3510 can be deployed on areas such as loading docks where two-way communication and hands-free communication especially would be important. So if there needs to be any type of communication between, for example, project leads on the loading docks or individuals in the office, this can be done rapidly, easily, and without the need of uh, having to get your hands free and walk over to a desktop phone. This is great as well uh, in logistics and warehousing where time and productivity is key. You very frequently have things coming in, shipments going out. Uh, this really would help a lot for keeping individuals organized and calling different projects across the warehouse floor. Uh, you can pair it, like I said earlier, with the WPA20. This would allow staff leads to communicate through a push-to-talk functionality on their device. So if they want to call individuals back from break, call breaks, uh, request assistance in certain areas, this would all be able to do with just a click of a button very easily. And last but not least, in this kind of scenario, the GDS 3700 series can actually integrate with this paging facility. Uh, you could actually have the device page out to specific 3510 areas. So if anyone needs to get access to a loading dock, individuals within the inside could speak with them and then allow or deny access, of course. 
All right, and the last one we really want to point out here today, guys, is commercial shops and retail centers. Very regularly, you see these devices spread throughout them. In your smaller shops, announcements are very typically made out, um, excuse me, are made through them. Uh, GSC 3505 can be deployed throughout a store or entire retail center, no problem. Uh, this would enable rapid communications to staff depending on store priorities. For example, if you need to, the very classic, clean up on aisle five, uh, this would be able to be done. Store leads would be able to have the WPA 20 on them and being able to communicate with their staff without everyone having to be equipped with a communications device along with being able to page individuals to get assistance with cashing uh, and cashing out uh, at the cash register uh, if you've seen increase in customers. So allows employees to respond rapidly to customer needs as well in these scenarios. Of course, the customer happiness is key. Uh, this really also would assist people in being able to get the help they need the fastest and have a uh, positive experience within the store. And in your larger areas, such as retail centers, so we're talking malls, for example, here, announcements can be sent throughout an entire retail center by security or administration. For example, if the mall is closing down in an hour, announcements can be paged out to everyone to let them know that. All right. So thank you everyone so much. That gives an overview of the device. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions real quick now. Um, if you have no questions, feel free to leave. I'm not gonna force you to stay or anything like that. Uh, really appreciate everyone stopping by and learning a little bit more. Uh, just to be clear as well, I will be sending out information afterwards via email with both the slides uh, and a recording as well. All right. Okay, so if you guys have questions, please go ahead and use the Q&A feature. Uh, I'll be answering it, answering all questions through there. Looks like we, we have a fair amount, so I'll just start scrolling down through these. Uh, then I'll just go ahead and check through the chat here. Um, David asked how many of these devices can be included in a single UCM paging group for building wide paging. This is a great question. Um, the limit on this would be the amount of SIP endpoints uh, based on the UCM. So this changes per UCM model, essentially. The UCM can only have a set amount of endpoints. I think it can go as high as like 2,000 or something like that. Um, but it, it depends on the UCM model. Uh, Greg asks, can you have multiple 3510s used with a video conferencing system or can you use one? You can only use one in this scenario because it would be acting as the actual Bluetooth speaker slash microphone. Um, Joe, good question. Is there a specific button, because we mentioned the button peripheral a lot here, to connect to the 3510 uh, in is GrantStream going to make one? GrantStream is not going to make one. We want to make sure that this device um, was highly customizable depending on the deployment, whatever the needs are. Um, we do not make a specific button. Uh, however, it just uses a very standard two-pin peripheral, so it really supports pretty much anything button-wise. All right. Uh, Robert, just to ask a little bit more clarification on how it can be used in a meeting room. Sure. Um, can it be work with Skype slash Teams? No, no, no. <laughs> um, I'm simply saying the device can basically be used to function as the speaker or microphone for a GBC video conferencing device. Um, so basically, you know, we're in a room here right now to give an example. You guys see me broadcasting via the GVC. There's a GAC here on the desk that I'm using for communicating. If I didn't want to have this on the desktop, we'd be able to actually connect a, uh, a GSC 3510, for example, to the ceiling. And then all volume that you know, would be, let's say we're having a meeting coming from your end, could come through there. And then all of my pickup, my audio that you guys would hear would come through there as well. It only would function as a Bluetooth speaker and microphone. Nothing more in that case. All right. Um, 
Michael asks, can the device integrate directly to the UCM 6204? Integrate directly? Yep, absolutely it does, just like all of our devices. Uh, alternative power supply or just PoE? I'm fairly confident it's just PoE. Give me just one second to take a look. Maybe it is only PoE, so keep that in mind as well. Um, Uh, Joe asks, is there a specific length of speaker wire to use to connect two speakers? Unfortunately, I'm not too sure about that one. That's a little bit more in the technical realm of things. Um, I'll speak with our engineers uh, and get back to you on that one when I send the email out with this presentation and slides. Michael asks, where can we buy? Um, just go ahead and reach out to your local distributor or if you're an end user reseller uh, to purchase from them. Uh, if you don't have one currently, feel free to go to our Contact Us page down to the sales section uh, at grandstream.com uh, and go ahead and just submit a request there and we'll get you connected with the proper channels to assist you. Good question, Renald. Are devices compatible with the Zero Config UCM? I'm not sure. Uh, if it's not now, it absolutely will be soon. But I'll check with our engineers and get back to you on that one. That's another, that's another good question that I'll include in my email out to everyone. Uh, so I'll definitely give everyone an, e an update on that with the Zero Config. Uh, Bill asks, what type of power supply is required if you use Wi-Fi? Just standard PoE is fine. Uh, the device is supported with PoE. Uh, John asks, do either devices support multicast priority? Uh, for example, assuming one is highest and 10 is lowest, music is playing all the time over the speaker, okay, using a multicast address slash port assigned with priority of 10, then a page comes out with priority one, will that break in and play the higher priority page then return to playing the music? Yes, it should. Um, it does have full multicast support. I will definitely confirm on that with you, but uh, we definitely even had that when we were testing the device to make sure it worked, but that should be possible, absolutely. All right. Uh, Chris asks, is the Wi-Fi just for connectivity uh, for the unit or does it also support as an AP? It does not work as an AP as well. It's just for the connect, uh, to have the device connect through Wi-Fi uh, if you want to go that route. Uh, Ronnie asks, can you use a two-pin connector to connect to analog phone systems to accept a page call and broadcast cast it out uh, loud, or does it work with your equipment only? Uh, it is only for VoIP systems. I do know that I believe the two-pin port can be hooked up to, a, um, to an alarm in, is what I was speaking with our support team about it. So if you want to set it up so that there's a certain trigger, and then through that trigger, a predefined event happens that something's played through the GSC. Uh, that can be done. All right. Okay, guys, so I think that answered most of the questions here. For the ones I didn't get back to, I'll, I'll definitely, honestly, I, I just need to check with our engineers before I get back to you on them, so I'll just include it in the Q&A section when I send out an email uh, that will include the slides and the presentation. So I just want to say thank you to everyone so much for joining us today. Uh, thank you for learning a little bit more about one of our new devices, the GSC 3500 series. Have a great rest of your week. Thank you. Goodbye.